Never Ever Massage a Moose by Adam Wallace and Mary Nin. There are many things you'll learn in life. Of that, there is no doubt. But I'll give you a lesson here for free on something I figured out. Never ever massage a moose. Seriously, why would you even try? When you go to massage the shoulders, the antlers will poke your eye. Doing the lower back means you stand in a risky spot for sure. And when it lets rip a mighty toot, it'll blow you to the floor. It wants you to massage that flappy skin that hangs below its throat. You start to realize you made a mistake and you should have massaged a goat. Finally, if you massage the moose really well, it might fall asleep, it's true. And when it lies down, that's 700 kilos lying on top of you. Also, never ever massage a mouse. There are quite a few reasons why. If you massage it wrong, it'll bite you hard and bring a tear to your eye. Putting a mouse in a massage chair is a bad idea, I found, because when you turn that chair up high, look at those mice bounce around. And the final reason I don't suggest you ever massage a mouse is if your mom comes home and sees it, she'll run screaming out of the house. Okay, here it is. Never ever massage a monkey. It will only make you sigh. Well, most of the reasons aren't actually bad, so maybe give it a try. The monkey might lie there quietly, but when you lean in there, you're giving a lovely massage while nits are picked out of your hair. Then things are going to be out of control. The monkeys will jump on the ground. This is not relaxing at all. They won't stop monkeying around. The monkeys are driving you bananas. Now what are they going to do? Hang on a minute. This isn't so bad. The monkeys are massaging you. So never ever massage a moose, a monkey, or a mouse. But if you do, for the sake of your mom, don't do it in your house. The end.